the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 258, Ezekiel 44-46, the temple full of God's glory. God who presented his expectant plan, dreaming of a new Israel, also clarified the missions of those who held critical positions. First point, God once again gave the responsibility of serving in the temple to the descendants of Levi for the future restoration of his glory. God told Ezekiel to ensure that the outer gate of the sanctuary would remain shut. This symbolized how, by closing the east gate of the temple, God's glory would enter and remain there. In other words, this showed how God's glory would no longer leave the temple. Therefore, the people were not to enter from the same door as the one God entered through. As such, God showed Ezekiel how his glory would be present and full in the new temple. The people of Israel were to listen to God's decrees and laws and to enter the temple. God continued to explain the sanctuary for the 14 nations. This was in order to keep God's glory holy. In order to do so, God restored the Levites as priests. God told the Levites who had sinned that they were no longer permitted to serve as priests, but to the Levites who did not sin, they were to take on the law. Thus, the descendants of Zadok from the Levite tribe were given the role of priests. The people mentioned here by God were the Levites who sinned against God by serving idols. These Levites had led the people into sin. Thus, only the descendants of Zadok were able to maintain the role of priests. Due to the sins of the priests, South Judah had fatally collapsed. And now God spoke of the full restoration of the Levites and how he would raise the descendants of Zadok to continue on the mission. Second point, God told Ezekiel to recite God's laws of a kingdom of priests in Babylon, which he gave to Moses on Mount Sinai all those years ago. Through Ezekiel, God spoke of how the priests were to keep the laws. When they entered the gates of the inner court, they were to wear linen. They were not to wear any woolen garment. While ministering at the gates of the inner court or inside the temple, they were not to shave their heads or let their hair grow long. They were to keep their hair of their heads trimmed. The priests were forbidden to drink wine. They were not to marry widows or divorced women. They were to teach God's people the difference between the holy and the common and show them how to distinguish between the unclean and clean. In the case of a dispute, the priests were to serve as judges and decide according to God's ordinances and also to keep God's Sabbath holy. A priest was also not to defile himself. A priest was to also offer a sin offering. As such, after mentioning the laws for the priest, God promised that he would become their livelihood. God told these laws for the priests to Moses after Exodus, and now he told them to Ezekiel for the priests of South Judah. God said this with the hope that they would no longer serve idols or rely on other powers. The priests had a significant role in the fall of South Judah, and thus they were thoroughly warned of how they were to behave from now on. They were to keep the laws and stand righteous before God in order to not repeat what they were going through right now. God declared that He would provide for them on the condition that they obeyed. Third point, 
the reason God gave kings their designated territories was in order for them to not steal away the land of the people. To look back, God gave the promised land to Abraham, and Abraham's descendants were to live in it and to act as stewards with God as the owner. After Exodus, God distributed the land between the twelve tribes, but to Ezekiel, God explained that there would be a holy land which would not be distributed. This holy land was to be used as God's holy sanctuary. It would also be given to the priests and to the Levites. Moreover, it would be given to the Israel people collectively. It would also be given to the prince. The reason God was to give this land to the prince was as follows. This land will be his possession in Israel. And my princes will no longer oppress my people, but will allow the people of Israel to possess the land according to their tribes. God had in mind how in the past Rehoboam and Jehoiakim took the land from the people. Therefore, God judged the kings. God explained that excluding the holy land, the remaining land would be given to the Israelites. God then continued on to give regulations regarding offerings. Fourth point, in Ezekiel chapter 46, we can see how Ezekiel retaught the laws in a kingdom of priests to the people. God explained to Ezekiel of the regulations involved in keeping the annual festivals for the people when they returned to Jerusalem once the 70 years were over. In the first month and the first day, they were to take a young bull without defect and purify the sanctuary. The next involved regulations for Passover. The regulations given to Moses regarding Passover were recorded in Exodus 12, verses 13 to 15. The next detailed the seven days of the festivals. Next, God emphasized the rules regarding Sabbath as well as the day of the new moon. This was the command for the gate of the inner court to be opened on the day of Sabbath and on the day of the new moon. This showed how the regulations for offerings in the new temple were made stricter. This involved the regulations for how and where the people were to enter and leave the temple. Fifth point, God declared that he would happily receive the offerings made with a good heart. Now, God went on to explain the processes for the king and the people of South Judah when they entered the temple and when they made their offerings. Until now, the people had made offerings for the sake of making them. They offered without the faith that God would accept. But God told them that he did not accept offerings that lacked faith or heart. God now told them that he would accept their offering on the condition of their sincere hearts. God would accept their repentance and their willingness. God went on to speak about the inheritance to their sons. God moreover detailed the laws concerning passing the inheritance to others. God then went on to explain to Ezekiel the regulations involved in preparing the offering. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings 
of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.